Welcome back to it team, this is your brief for Saturday, the 6th of uh, November. Uh, it's our outdoor classes, 7, 8 and 9, right, and our 18 Zoom. Cracking into this warm up, we're going to start off with Tabata, so 8 rounds, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Alternating between our plank, all right, engaging that core, okay, keeping that back nice and straight, and to our next round obviously will be uh, body builders. All right, so burpee, no push up. All right team. Then after that, your coach is gonna take you uh, just through five minutes of some static stretches. All right, warming up those hamstrings, forearms, pecs. All right, got a bit of uh, movements like that today. Cracking into our strength, 16 minute cat, our barbell option. We have four sets to build to a 12 rep max front squat from the ground. Okay, four, four sets only. All right team, so it's gonna be pretty hard. 12 is a lot of reps when you're going for a max. So our front squat, you can power clean or squat clean the bar up. I want to see a nice, loose grip on the bar, elbows high, All right, drop them down, tracking those knees out, driving through the ground, keeping those elbows as high as we can the whole time, keeping those eyes forward. That is our barbell option, our dumbbell kettlebell option. We have four times 20 back step lunges from a plate. So I've got my plate there, or it can be a book stack, anything, just make it a deficit. We want to start on that plate, holding that dumbbell kettlebell in that goblet position, so close to your chest and just lunging back off it. So 10 each leg, we're gonna alternate, just like that. And then after each set, you're gonna have five to seven Z press each side. So sitting on the ground, you can do this off a seat as well if you we want. All right, driving straight up, trying to keep that rib cage down and engaged, keeping that arm close to your head. All right, five to seven each arm. Our no equipment version, we're gonna be doing the same thing, four by 20 back steps, right? Lunges off your plate, try to get as high as we can, make it deficit, make it harder for ourselves. Our team, after each set, we have either a 10 meter, 10 meter seal walk, so it's just walking, dragging your feet behind you, just like that, or we're going through a max V sit, or L sit hold. Okay, so L sit hold, okay, very hard off the ground, trying to keep those legs off the ground, or our V sit hold. Right, engaging those core, that shoulder blade should be off the ground there. That is our strength done for today. Cracking into this workout. Now we've got a 10 minute cap, so it's quite fast, quite uh, um, very taxing. So our barbell version, what we have is a bit of a variation of grace. So we're gonna do 30 power cleans, rest one minute, into 30 shoulder to overheads, with a buyout of an 800 meter run, or 60 or 50 cows. So our power cleans, starting from the ground each time, keeping the bar close, fast elbows, all right, catching that semi-squat, starting standing up. Our shoulder to overhead, dip drive catch will be our push jerk. All right, so you can either do a push jerk or your push press, dipping back on your heels. Whatever's gonna be the most efficient for you. Now you wanna pick a weight that no matter how fatigued you are, you'll be able to pick it up and do a few reps. Okay, this is meant to be a sprint. Very tight time cap, especially with that one minute rest in between and that 800 meter run of the end or those cows, you're just gonna absolutely drop the hammer and hold on as long as we can. Onto our dumbbell, kettlebell, or no equipment version, we're starting with 30 body builders. So once again, that burpee with no push up. Going into a one minute rest, then we have either 30 handstand push ups or hand release push ups. So that's hand release push ups, really push up, releasing those hands, keeping those elbows close to you. All right, team? Having a buyout of that run or calories again. So there's our workouts and strength today, team. Like I said, push the pace on this, okay? 30 reps, pick a weight wisely. They're gonna be able to hold on no matter what. Those shoulder overheads should be done in some bigger sets, okay, maybe some tens or fives. Picking a good pace so we can try to maintain the whole time through and absolutely dropping the hammer on the, that buyout. Let's get it.